Isla and I live in Durham in the UK right now and I'm a German born Chinese and I grew up in Schwäbisch Hall, a place uh, near Stuttgart in Germany. So my granddad um, lived and worked in Germany and I have, um, that's our third generation so, um, but my family, my relatives are from Hong Kong so we have roots back in China, Hong Kong and Germany and I was born in a Christian family so I was baptized at 14 years old. So we have about 20 to 30 attendees um, at the church in Elphit. We worship there. And a lot of them are international expats, meaning people who have immigrated from China, Hong Kong, Malaysia and Taiwan into here in the UK. And some of them live permanently here and being local. And we have British-born Chinese people who um, come from the families here, who grew up and are living here right now. And we also have BNO people, British national overseas, who come from Hong Kong, who are just immigrated just now. So they come in families as well. And we also have international Chinese students. Not only that, they may come from, of course, China, Taiwan and Malaysia. So we have a mix of rich um, heritage of that, different people from different countries. And we started in back in 2014 when we first initiated. A lot of how we become was from Bible studies, maybe a group of Christians, they meet together and start a prayer group, a Bible study group. And from that, we increased in members and numbers and gradually it became a church. So yes, let me talk about what we do in a week time. Monday, we have cell group. So that's a lot for adults to meet together, Christian families, people who want to um, have fellowship with each other. On Tuesday, we have Bible study. So a lot of time the pastor may engage us a Bible passage and we discuss about it. On Wednesday, we have prayer, prayer groups. So a group of us will uh, have several prayer issues. We bring up um, our um, stuff that we want to pray about. On Thursday, um, we have morning prayer sessions. So again, 8 a.m. And Fridays, of course, we have the Durham Chinese Christian Fellowship, which is in collaboration with the Durham University. So a lot of Durham Uni students will join us. And what we do, we have dinner together at the start and then we have some talk and worship and then we may have game session, discussion groups at the end we, come, we finish with a, with a prayer so prayer groups at the end on Saturday we have the youth fellowship for the children so the British born Chinese that needed like tutorial we will give them um, my maths class or um, anything they need help with in the homework after that we will teach them Sunday school stuff so we teach them Bible stories we tell them about um, the biblical doctrine so yeah and then maybe we have some games with them we try to engage the youth fellowship to be more engaging with the church community and finally on Sunday we will have our worship session so we do have all the um, the sermon the worship and then prayers and Holy Communion all the um, our um, routine so normally in day-to-day -day basis when I wake up the first thing I do is do my daily prayer daily morning prayers so I do sometimes like to wake up early maybe 4 a.m. to do my prayers if I can so um, I probably do the Lord's Prayer and then any concern and worries I have throughout the day I do pray so I love Bibles, so I have so many historical different soul Bibles. So. so what I love to do is I highlight all the pages of the Bible. I know it's beautiful English and the, it's a facsimile, which is um, the actual copy of it. So I like how the, I think they use pen to write because back then they don't really do prints. And then I do like to pick up my favorite Bible verses so I just mark them so I read them now and then again so in my daily devotion I do maybe about three chapters a day of Bible um, Bible reading and after that I would like to um, have some reflection on it 
and I sometimes do write journal and notes about what I learned and what I hear from God and I write that down maybe electronically or on paper. So yeah, obviously the Lord's Prayer, um, that is very simple to do for me. If, I want, am I, if I'm tired, I can pick up a prayer. I just open the book, the Bible, and then there's the Lord's Prayer, and then I just read it out. And I feel a lot of um, calm and peace when I do it, a lot of consultants. And knowing that God is here for me, and that, that I'm seeking His will in my daily life. And talking about the Bible, that is very important to me. I do read it on a daily basis when I can. So Bible verses, for example, in John chapter 3, 16, it says, For God so loved the world that he has given his only begotten Son, that none that believe in him shall perish, but shall have everlasting life. How wonderful is that? We can hear that God, his love for us is that much that he was willing to give his only begotten, his own Son. Can you think of like, Say you have parents, you are, you are a parent and then you give your child away in that way. This is a big love, it's more like agape love, it's a sacrificial and something very unconditional, unconditional love. So yeah, why is going to church important for me is um, it's important to have fellowship with other believers and when we go to church we meet other Christians and we can have um, a nice fellowship we can um, encourage each other in our faith and we can have a community so for example we have dinner together food we can have um, Bible study prayer group and that's all in like a big group and it's nice to be just with people that are similar minded and alike to you um, the best thing is that is how the body of Christ is so when all of us are together God is always among us anyway so it helps that we can um, know each other's life we can um, help each other when we maybe fall in well sin or maybe we don't know something we, we need to uh, have questions in life we do support each other in that way so um, not only that, you can have community care. So my church members are great because when I was pregnant, had a baby, they gave me everything I need. They gave me all the baby stuff and then I had like herbal soup and I had food. I felt so grateful and just um, appreciate so much that the love our church member give each other, the support and then we do see each other on like maybe a daily week basis and it helps us to have a sense of community.